Hi, I'm Julia Forsyth, and I've heard some questions about how to make a woodcut, so this will be the first of a few um, installations on how to make a woodcut, or actually leno cut. This is what I'm going to be working with, linoleum block. This is an 8x10, and these are some that I've already done before. This is the raven print, this is the block, and that's the print. Oops. And this is the eagle owl leno cut print and block. So this is what we're headed towards and this is what I'm working on right now. It's a little barred owl called Odie and um, this is what I'm going to transfer on. So the first step is to get your matte medium and like the cooking shows I already have it poured out and you can use a brush if you uh, like to not touch it but I don't really mind and this helps me know exactly how much is getting on there. So what you do is you rub the matte medium on the image and you don't want too thick of a layer or too thin of a layer and you just quickly rub it on. Oh yeah and something important, um, this image started as a drawing that I did, a sharpie, and then I took the drawing once it was finished to a copy shop and made a copy. So I took it to Kinko's, you can take it anywhere, but it has to be um, whatever kind of copy that Kinko's makes. It just doesn't work with my home printer for some reason. So as you can tell, I'm quickly spreading this all the way across, making it just the right consistency. If it gets too thick, I'll show you in a minute what happens. It's a very ugly thing and it will make you very frustrated. So, okay, I think I got a little bit too much in this part, so I'm gonna scoot it like down on the part. Oops, glad that didn't knock over. Okay, I think it's just about right. Um, usually I have some paper towels, but I didn't think about that for this demo. Ugh. So I'm going to stretch over here and place it just right. Okay, I'm going to press it down a little. I'm going to flip it over. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are a bunch of bubbles and stuff. Oops, goodness. I'm very glad that didn't fall. I'm going to scoot that over here. Okay. So I take my roller and I roll it out, making all of the air bubbles disappear. You need to move pretty quickly. paper towel but didn't think about that today and then you get I don't know if you can see here but it's like burnished smooth this is just that's one reason I like lino cut so much you can do everything at home this is what I use to make my prints with a wooden spoon from the kitchen however I designated this as the lino cut spoon so I don't use it in the kitchen anymore but that's where it got its start so you just do this helping the image stick on to the lino cut block. Okay, I would do it a little bit more, but that would be a boring video. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you um, next time when I do, um, when I demonstrate how to make the paper come off and show how the drawing got transferred right onto the block. See you later. And if you have a chance, check out my website at www.juliaforsyth.com or if you like Facebook, I'm on there too, uh, Julia Forsyth Art. And I'm on Twitter too, Julia Forsyth Art. See you next time. Bye.